Guernsey is the number one port of call in the British Isles for day visits by cruise ships. Over 60 cruise liners call at St Peter Port here in Guernsey every year. St Peter Port greets cruise ships with a vista of colourful houses which form a beautiful backdrop to the harbour filled with a mix of luxury yachts and fishing boats. Cruise liners anchor just outside St Peter Port. It's a very short tender trip into uh, pontoon and for those who are possibly a little incapacitated maybe a very easy ramp or steps up to the harbour top. Once ashore all passengers are given a warm welcome and handed a pocket guide to Guernsey. Those who have booked on coach tours take in the island's scenic beauty and rich history from when the island was a key trading port between England and France to the German occupation in World War II. Most visitors who are not taking tours make the Tourist Information Centre their first port of call. It has everything a visitor could need, with knowledgeable staff who are happy to help so everyone gets the most out of their stay. There are also a wide range of local gifts and books for those special presents from such a unique island. Guernsey has a rich cultural heritage the Pocket Guide details maps and information about Guernsey, such as places to visit in St Peter Port, including the Guernsey Tapestry, La Vallette Underground Military Museum, the Guernsey Museum set in beautiful candy gardens, and Castle Cornet, where each day there is a ceremonial firing of one of the cannons at 12 noon. Book lovers can enjoy a trip to famous French author Victor Hugo's house where he wrote Toilers of the Sea and completed Les Miserables. And a visit to Guernsey is not complete without taking in the beautiful town centre. The cobbled streets are a hive of activity with unique boutiques sitting alongside national chains. And when you need a break from shopping, there are plenty of cafes and bars around where you can relax and enjoy the atmosphere. Other passengers use the information supplied at disembarkation or collected from the information centre to explore beyond St Peterport by the local bus service or taxis to sightsee, visit an attraction and sample a taste of island life.